And we're back in the game with some more Medieval 2 Total War and the Lucium Total War mod. I'm playing as Chili. That's right, Chili is in Medieval 2. Because this mod is set in colonial times, uh, Central and South America. So, Medieval 2 is so great, isn't it? With so many mods. Alright, we've got 12,000. We've got a fleet somewhere sailing around there. We will eventually have to come over here and deal with uh, those Spanish because we have to kill off the Spanish faction for victory. Right. We also have another fleet that we're going to send up here. I'm not sure if there are still Spanish ships up here, but we have discovered that they have, what was it, San Jose? Yeah, up there. And we might be able to do a naval invasion through here. Otherwise, how are we going to get there? That's a question. We can always teleport armies. Because that's a thing in Medieval 2. You can teleport. Teleportation was known to the Medieval peoples. Right. We can't retrain everyone here. <clears throat> We're going to have to move them out. Right. Probably got enough garrison. We take those out. Something we do need to do. Uh, game options. Change that. I should just stick. Alright, that general. Can we take him out? No, he's got good loyalty. Yeah, it goes down to yellow, but we can get away with that. Put in a watchtower. They're only a hundred. Alright, so we can't see a way through the forest. We'll just cut our way through the forest and deforest it. Because that's a thing. How happy are they? 120. Now uh, we can't change the tax rate. Could put another one of those in for a quarter. Right. <clears throat> Actually, is that their capital? No. San Jose was. Right. I remember now. And we are still fighting them off up in this area, the uh, Brazilians. Alright, that can hold out for a few turns. And we've captured this one yet again. Many a time we've captured it. I think we have a, maybe a diplomat up here somewhere. Yep. So we're kind of hoping that the French don't attack. That's what we're hoping. Right, can't lower the taxes there anymore. So we've actually got a lot of military forces up here. They're not going to be doing too much for a while. So maybe we will just go to war with the French. Because if we get those two of Spanish territories, I think we'll still need some more. Okay, I'm not exactly happy. It's probably because there's a lot of Spanish teachers around there causing trouble. Right. We don't have any assassins, so we can't kill them off. Alright, come over there and put in another watchtower. Continuing tomorrow. Right, come on over, I guess, this direction. Oh, that's one of ours, isn't it? That's good. Right. Spanish envoy, Spanish teacher. Right, we have several generals moving up along the coast, I think. I can't remember. We got two extra generals last time. Maybe I sent one. Yeah. One of them was coming over there. Right. Got a large town ready to upgrade. We'll do that one. City ready to upgrade. We can hold off there for a turn. 
Uh, we can hold off there. Right, let's see if any Spanish ships are showing up. Spanish ships are showing up. Get tongue tied on that one. Yes, my lord. Plotting course now, my lord. Yes. Full sail. Right, so that's Mapuche territory and Argentine territory. We shall continue tomorrow, my lord. Right, no new units there. Santa Cruz, yep. Can't retrain anyone there just yet. Come on, Brazilians. I expect you to be dead. Right, they are still besieging. Hmm. Okay. Got one unit there. Those were going back, weren't they, for retraining? It's annoying that we only have the one slot there for them. Right, 15. There we go, another one retrained soon. Probably take that general out. Right, let's send one of those over there and then we'll get him coming out because that can hold four turns. That's fine. Yeah, looks like we're using up a lot of money in construction, even though we're close to victory. Right, is culture a problem? Still 30%. Right, anything useful and cheap. Naval base. Hmm. Maybe we don't need anything there. Did we get somewhere where we can get the um, assassins? Supply building, happiness, only 5%. Hmm. Right, I'm going to hold off there. I really do think that we had one of those buildings. Wasn't it a traveler's checkpoint? Not, oh, there's an assassin. We get him, how are we going to get him anywhere useful? Spy, envoy, teacher. They run out of teachers. Can we get a, an assassin anywhere else? Yeah, we can get another one up there. Oh, might be useful for him. Right, he got 500. Finally. Okay, let's uh, see what will happen. Oh, another general. Now it's Coxon. Great Orc extinct. Oh no, in the British colony of New Zealand, a great 12 foot tall bird known as the Great Orc has gone extinct. This bird once ruled the islands as its great majesty. Uh, but is not forced into the history books by expansion of human civilization. What happened to it? The Great Orc. Hmm, what it looked like. A picture of it would have been nice. First telegraph line. The year is 1844 and the very first telegraph line has been 
set up between the American cities of Washington, D.C. and Baltimore. This line was used to prove to the world that Samuel Morse's telegraph is a truly working machine. Right, so the other general showed up at Arequipa, right? Is that? Was it? No, oh, I should have paid attention. I thought that's where he showed up. Anyway, uh, let's get those two out of the Noble Watchtower. Give you that unit. And we'll take two to get there, so that's enough. And we got the assassin there, didn't we? Or was it there? There he is. Doesn't look much like an assassin. I'll go through and see if I can find him. Cycle through. Bog tires not happy. He may have showed up somewhere where there wasn't a governor to begin with. I don't see any duplicate generals. Ah, there it is. Coxon. Coxon. Alright, more Brazilians are coming down. Alright, still retraining here. The ships can't move very fast, can they? Or well, very far, I should say. One of the Galapagos Islands are out there. Plotting course now, my lord. Dropping Mission success. Um, reinforced a region. Didn't even realise I had. Everywhere is upgrading. Thirty-nine, sixty. Okay, you have a penalty. Let me strike, my lord. Get you out of there. Get you back in. Yeah, it's all retraining pretty much. Where's that extra general? Right. Probably want to send him over to Bogota. Right. Get in there. Oh, the money actually went down, didn't it? I'm going to get another one, so we can take those units out. And there's our spy. There's our envoy. Maybe you can get a little further. Who knows? Right, they're still unhappy. Right, we can take out the units from there. Again, we can't retrain those. We send those two. Oh, that didn't help, did it? What is up with Caracas? Really, what is the problem there? Cultural unrest. We do have an agent. Alright, we might face some problems. You get any units from there? One. Maybe. Maybe one. Going out of Bogota temporarily. Yep, that looks okay. Right. Retrain you and a teacher. I do want to get those units out from there. Far too many units sitting in there. 
Right. Anything for public order over here? Uh, recruitment offers. So we can get those, and that will give us the line infantry. We do have one in there. What about public order? One school. Is it the yeah eighty percent? Let's try to rush that one through. Can't do anything with those troops. Oh yeah, I can hear it raining now. No culture penalty there. Can't put in the market square. Maracaibo. Hmm. Country Wells also makes people happy. Side trading. Hmm. That's a lot of construction, down to ten thousand. I suppose we could have a battle against the natives, because we haven't fought those in a long time. That's some nice scenery, isn't it? Oh, we've got snow, because we're coming through the mountain pass. Right. They're going to come towards us, aren't they? They're firing already. Got our general to back them up. Shouldn't be inflicting any casualties because we can't even see them. Now, I was using these, well, similar units earlier today, uh, as I was recording the Apache campaign for Medieval 2. And next time we do the America's uh, DLC, or the Kingdom's Expansion, I should say, we'll probably do the Mayans or the Aztecs. Right. Give them a nice little charge. Right, send them forward. Rally our men. We've killed off 11%. Time to take some casualties though. Yeah, uh, didn't look like you got a very good charge in on them. Are those broken? No. Well, that unit's broken. Let's get our general out right there as well. Is it worth just sending them into melee? They are wavering. Go on, stick them. The battle is in our favor. If we remain true and wholehearted, victory will be ours. All right, now they've broken. The enemy 
are badly blooded. They have lost half their men. And now they've actually turned around. The enemy general lies dead. Good riddance to that desert dog. Now he was just a captain, wasn't he? He's a men's resolve. The enemy flees the battle. Run down the Run them. peasants. Worthless peasants. You worthless peasant. Right, did we get everyone? Can't be many of them. All of Christendom will be awed by the victory we have won here today. Uh, Eleven percent. Not too bad. We show little mercy. They deserve none. Good. Some uh, good training for those. Might be from there, where we send the units to get there, but the quick place is from here. And I think we'll actually start building up that army right now. Right. That one, actually, we'll put those in and start taking them out now. Right, get another one of those in. Drop the attacks a little bit. Can we do anything for the border? Put that in. Um, could even get some troops from up here, couldn't we? Right, you don't have a teacher. You don't have a teacher. You will. You can't get a teacher. Shame about all those good units. So, uh, we have 46. So there are two Spanish that we know of. So that will take us to 48. And there's one spy, two spies, three spies, four spies, and an assassin. And one emissary, right? Nope, two envoys. And that's us. Oh. Map info. I'll give you 200. And that's being generous. Accepted. Accept this proposal, this Okay. Yes. No. Oh, Brazilians, the Brazilians even have a fleet. Yeah, very low on money. Ooh, sixteen and a half thousand plus in corruption. Right, we now have a mission. Right, that's probably their leader, isn't it? The province. What is their name? Yes, this cripple. Right, keep retraining. Yes. Move on. Name thy enemy, Lord. Head on up there. My lord. Should we spare any of them? Continuing tomorrow. No retraining. Alright, Dutch colonies collapse. 
the Dutch crown has heard of the failures of Dutch colonies and has increased its support. A fleet will arrive within one year with soldiers and gold to revive the uh, failing colonies. The suspected target is uh, Paramaribo. Okay. Right. Go and sit there. That should block any Spanish from coming in. We've got three cavalry. Actually, let's cancel that. I'm going to get rid of uh, the units like so. Send you back there. Right, they didn't attack. Where to, sire? Yes, Lord. If someone will speak, we will listen, but I cannot say we will agree. How could you ask these of us? Right, they really don't want that, do they? Where is my spy at? Sire. As you wish. Yes, my lord. Go exploring. But don't get lost. Right, Polita is somewhat happy now. Now, where's that other fleet? Can we retrain there? No. Can we retrain there? No. Okay. Keep on sailing up. We shall continue tomorrow, my lord. Yeah, they really aren't very happy there. Your Majesty. Move out! Yes! Your so have you coming all the way over? Mark. Right, we managed to get to blue. Right. Native tribes could just go and grab some territory from them because they're not going to be particularly strong, are they? Right, I think we just have to. Oh, that suddenly changed. Right, can we. Yeah, we can get those ones over there. For retraining. Yes. Order, my lord. Your majesty. Order. Your majesty. Get all of those over. March. And yes. as for those, uh, have to go up there. We march no further today, lord. And up there. What about the artillery? Right, makeshift artillery can go up there. Orders. Yes. My lord. Unless they get intercepted by anyone. Tomorrow, my lord. And Orders. you can then go over here. March. Moving everybody around. So that's. Six pounder. There are twelve pounders. We're gonna have a big army at some point. Let's just get this done. Artillery production. Oh, okay. What do we need to retrain? Nothing then. Supply roadways. 
Republican Hall. <clears throat> yeah, looks like we're going to keep running out of money. Modern school because culture. Oh, no, you're not happy anymore. Yep, we're definitely going to need more money. Alright. Your orders, noble one. Of course, my lord. We've got a naval base at Medellin. That's everyone. Oh, and we still have 43 left over. But that's where we're going to end this episode.